Hello everyone, welcome back to Silver Tears Tarot and welcome to our Sunday reading. So this is also the reading where we're going to take a look at what is coming your way in September and kind of what is happening. So we're taking a, a nice breath as we're getting past kind of this Mercury retrograde sort of feeling, dealing with a few of the after effects now, but it's starting to sort of taper off and we get to now see what September is going to bring. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be a general reading for this collective. So something to just kind of give you an opportunity to take a look at that big picture because these readings are all very much connected. So if it resonates with you, you may want to go back and check out some of the other readings. Um, so I will read for you today with, um, I'm going to use two decks. I think I'm going to start with the Naked Heart Tarot. And then I've got the um, the Lights Ears that I'm going to use. Well, maybe I'll start with the Lights Ears. I have to decide because these two work really well together, but you can really go either way um, as to which one clarifies. And then we'll use the Oracle, the, <laughs> the Earth Earthcraft Oracle when we go to um, utilize our Oracle card. So I think I am going to start here with the Lights Ears Tarot. We're going to take a look at just the general energy of the month of September. So to see what we're kind of moving into. And it does feel a little bit lighter. Um, it's So we've got the Four of Swords in the reverse. You're going to have an idea, a little bit of clarity around where healing still needs to occur. There's a feeling of, yes, definitely still need some of... Um, some redirection. There's been a little bit of redirection during the month of August. Um, remember in August, there was a lot of activity and that we knew there was going to be a lot of activity and things that kind of felt like they were going to get pulled apart that might never quite get put back together again. Here you're getting a better feel for what it might take, a, what it might take to put it back together. So it doesn't feel like everything's all put back together, but yes, I'm willing to open my mind and take some different approaches. So that's the beneficial approach. It's not definite that you're going to take that open mind or have that open mind. Of course, you're listening, so there's a chance that you probably will. But um, this is energy that would be pervasive out there. Um, your person is experiencing it as well. So they may or may not be ready to jump into um, truly understanding the edges of their healing and what that next step might look like. We've got the King of Cups. Again, um, and I say again because it comes up a lot, the King of Cups has a sense of some limited emotion. There's definitely an ability to have some beautiful emotion here, but it's a little bit limited. So if that's you, it's a matter of looking into what's causing some of those limitations. And if that's your person, it's also a matter of trying to figure out, well, what's the best way to not trigger that? And if it is um, not, not necessarily... They may not be ready to open up in a loving way, even as we're moving into September. But this is that opportunity to kind of see that and to think about it. So we know that in August, we got like this really interesting message that that was the month where there was the potential for the like the runner to turn into the chaser and for there to be a little bit of a switch up there. I think the seeds were maybe planted for that in the month of August. I don't know that I saw a bunch of changing happen. I think that might have been kind of too fast. So we have the judgment card here in the reverse. This is a matter of taking a look at things. And again, with a little bit of the clarity that comes after this Mercury retrograde has ended, being able to look at it and saying, wow, I really don't like what I see. And I've got a lot of work to do here. So it's not an anxious approach to it. It's really being able to say I've got some, with the Four of Cups, it's a feeling of disappointment. With the Nine of Swords, it's a feeling of getting down to business, not spending a bunch of time in consternation or in anxiety over it. The Nine of Swords is getting down to brass tacks. It's deciding that, nope, it's time to really figure out what makes things better and to enact that plan to make things better. So there's some... That's some good, um, that's a good feeling here to, to feel like that some of the clarity comes back 
where it feels like there's been a lot of this dreamlike sort of energy, honestly. Um, frustration, setback energy, um, even though it all kind of goes to a good place, it's been a little bit frustrating in the month of August just to watch it all swirling around. And, and there's this constant energy of your person wanting to communicate and this constant energy of them pushing themselves away, which we still feel. I mean, that was coming out in the reading as recently as yesterday. But here we start to see a sense of that potentially clearing up during the month of September. And of course, we'll get back in around midway through the month to see how things are going. But I think it will be very interesting to see kind of um, how how things are feeling when we get into that, um, into maybe the second part of the month, because there may be a lot of shift. With the Eight of Cups, I see a return to something. There's a return to a way maybe a way that you have looked at something in the past there's a need to look at it again and a need to look at it as maybe even similarly to the way that you saw it in the past which is maybe not how you see it now um, then we've got the innocence of cups which is like a page of cups there's a lesson that is not being learned and it's it's like it's just being missed there's not um I don't know that there's a huge problem with it but it feels like there's you know how um, sometimes we see that there's a perspective that you're missing? We saw yesterday, maybe it was yesterday, there's like something that you're missing. An actively like missing element of your perspective that if you know it, and it's maybe even a small thing, but if you know it, it will change things for you. So with the Innocence of Cups here, I feel like there is something to, for you to be aware of, but it's like it's a message that you need to receive. Then we've got the Spirit of Cups, which is like the King of Cups. And it's that limited sense of emotion, but once again, an ability to have some pretty nice emotion. Now, if there's also an ability to go with the flow, this could be a landmark month. Because one of the things that we've really seen is that your person has not been willing to go with the flow. They want the work done. They're not willing to really do the work this is um, this is the opportunity to take a closer look at oneself and decide, are you ready to do this work that needs to be done? And this actually suggests that the possibility exists. Now, it's not something that all takes place in the month of September, obviously, because that's too much. Um, that's too much to expect for a single month. However, it is. I mean, I think most people wouldn't be able to do it as quickly. I just feel like there's a lot to unravel and a lot to learn here. A lot of frustration that they kind of have to work themselves through. There's a sense of having had to make some difficult choices and have um, some difficult changes that occurred and really kind of materialized during the month of August. Um, but it feels like the things are... There's something that eases up and actually gets better, but I feel like it's, remember how we saw that devil card in the reverse a bunch during the month of August, and I was talking about how, yes, there's less of a, there's less pressure on them, or there's less control on them, but they don't really know what to do with it. So here, there's an opportunity to kind of free things up and to maybe utilize their resources to learn a little bit more about what to do with it. This feels like a party sort of atmosphere, so I feel like... It's not even, um, it may just be like a work party or something like that, but there's something good that comes out of a work party or out of just being social. So watch for that. Watch for things to be better because of being social. Now, just watch this card kind of spin around. And it's interesting because I feel um, both the upright and the reverse on this one, there's a great deal of fear that could potentially get in the way of some really impressive and magnum opus type work. So just keep in mind that if that's you, um, don't let the fear overcome you and realize that you may be interpreting things a little differently than they are meant in a situation. Um, with the Six of Swords, there's something here about things not really slowing down, but you figuring it out anyway. I don't think that there's necessarily a problem that comes in with this. I think this is you have um you have a lot of potential to move things forward during the month of September where we had a lot of activity in August I don't know if things move quickly in September we might have a little bit more of a time of rest but it's also a time of rest where you can kind of collect yourself see a little bit more of the big picture so let's see what's happening with this soulmate situation during the month of September and what that looks like it is developing into. So 
remember last time we had this unmakeable decision um you didn't end up having to make that decision and that's what we saw you weren't going to have to be the one like you were going to have your hand forced so you don't have to make that decision or you didn't have to make that decision but it was not necessarily easy to observe anyway because it's all about how your person is now utilizing um basically some what feels very much to me as excuses for the way that they're behaving and that's kind of what's helping to drive their behaviors but I see the dropping of some of those excuses particularly as I see the judgment card and that desire to um see things as they are and not be so disappointed by what they see because there's a lot of disappointment in this energy with the seven of pentacles this is like turning around and getting things together this is investment in the self investment in communication i don't know that i see a ton of vulnerability in this but i think the heart is in the right place i think your person's heart is in the right place this is not making any sudden moves so i think there's definitely some things to be ooh, definitely some things to be gained from this let's see i didn't oh, i didn't drop anything there i kind of hit my cards um, so with the Queen of Swords, there is not, that's not a rash decision. This actually does support a little bit more of a thoughtful way of looking at things. Because right now, as we were wrapping up the August, um, the last August reading, so yesterday was the last reading that was, you know, specifically targeted for just kind of the now, um, there was this sense of not wanting to, like making making rash decisions even as we got into the extended, not wanting to relinquish control, but really wanting the benefit without having to do the investment, wanting the work to be done without having to get in and do the work. So here I get more of a sense of doing the work, actually getting in and being able to do some of the work. But what might be missing is some of the how. So maybe there's awareness that work needs to be done, but I don't necessarily get the sense that they know how to do it or exactly um, what needs to happen. Ooh, let's see here. So we have the universe card. There is something that wraps up. There's a cycle that wraps up during the month of August, and it looks like it's an important cycle. Something that's going to change things that were feeling a little bit more organized um, before suddenly starts to feel a lot less organized. Feels like um, you used to know the path to take, but now it's everything is changing and the path is not so obvious. The, pa the path is not so evident anymore. Also a sense of both of you being held in place to um, understand something that is, it's ultimately gonna give you a new perspective, but it is not necessarily something where you gain that perspective quickly. There's a sense of being really confused and really not sure how you're gonna move forward, but this is brief. I mean, it is brief enough that it could be 15 minutes of your life. So, I, I mean, I don't get the sense that you spend a lot of time in consternation, but the universe definitely holds you in check for a moment to say, hey, observe, don't get too loose. There's something you need to see here. There's something you need to be aware of. When that happens, just kind of open up to it because there's something that it's going to be, it kind of has that element of protection or that feeling of protection along with it. Um, and again, you're going to be on new ground, new footing, and something that is wrapping up, running its course. Um, you no longer are something that you once were, and now you're growing into something different. Same is happening for your person, and this is all very relevant to this relationship. So there's something here about the relationship changing into something new, but you've got to listen for the lessons as they come by, or else it's going to be like Groundhog Day. It doesn't feel like it's going to allow you to move forward until you have more of that um, understanding. So here we have the movement of wands and the three of swords. Yeah, they just came in pairs. That was real interesting. So the three of swords feels like using lessons that you already have, understanding what you already know. Movement of wands is really... Um, this is, okay, so remember how as we were wrapping up the last couple of readings, there was sort of this narcissistic approach to you, looked like the cycle that you've seen before. So check this out. 
we have that cycle which we've already seen in the last couple of days is perpetuating itself at this time so maybe that's I don't know if it happens all throughout the month of September or if this is just how you start off the month but there's this cycle that perpetuates where your person is coming in kind of giving you whatever they want to give you and then bailing now they see this we see with this judgment card they see this they understand the implications of it they understand what they're doing, but they still have um, some pretty limited emotional ability to handle the situation. There's a desire or there's a need for them to return to something with a clear head, and they are very disappointed in what they've seen. So now you are both taking some things that you've learned from previous iterations of this cycle and now going to be able to say, hold on, this is never going to have the same impact on me again. So this is true for both of you, but of course that means some pretty different things depending on the position that you hold in the relationship. If you're a runner where you're running away, and that's what most of your divine masculines are, um, then that's then this is a matter of feeling like they are able to come in and get what they want from you and then be able to run away, and that's one of the things they've learned. They've also learned that they're not proud of themselves when they do that. And they kind of get pinned to the wall a little bit while they're in the process of it and forced to examine some things within themselves. So there's a strong sense of needing to examine yourself where I feel like there is, uh, you invite that in many cases. I don't get the sense that your person invites that. And in fact, I feel like they shun it or try to stay away from it. But there's something kind of... Um, it has the sense of an epiphany coming through for the month of September. Like it really has that feeling of epiphany. Um, Heart of Swords. Okay, so this is like the Queen of Swords in the reverse. We've got the Queen of Swords up here, Heart of Swords down here. Same kind of concept and something that is taking forever to learn. So with the Tower, we have this feeling of something that's taking forever to learn or really to absorb because there's so much resistance to it and emotion that is flowing whether they like it or not. This realization with the awareness that's coming in and with the disappointment that they feel when they look at this overall situation, there's we've seen this Ace of Cups come up in the last few readings. There's been a lot of, um, even in the personal readings, it's been coming up like crazy. There's a sense of this love that your person is unwilling to allow themselves to express. And yet with the, the judgment card and that disappointment, there's a sense of, even though they're not really willing to think it all the way through right now, they're having too good of a view of what it is that they're unwilling to jump into and what it is that they're kind of unwilling to give themselves. And that has the impact of kind of changing things for them a little bit. So they recognize that they are selling themselves short. And although they aren't just willing to turn around and fix it, there's still a lot of resistance to letting this tower fall. The tower is falling. We see that there is change that happens during the month of September. And with it being um, the way that they're resistant to it or the way that they feel like they kind of don't, they don't want to, they don't want to take it at face value. There's something here about them not wanting to take it at face value or not feeling like they truly, like when they see this, um, there's definitely a feeling of, like having an epiphany and not wanting to take that at face value still not feeling enough trust to be able to treat people properly what in the world so this is we're going to look into an epiphany here um we're going to do an extended i don't always do i don't even think i usually do extended on monthly outlooks but there's an epiphany in here and i want a closer look at it i kind of feel like you would want a closer look at it too but it seems like it's an epiphany that triggers them as well so they're not out of the woods yet with this but let's at least see what it is that they're learning Okay, before we go into that extended, of course, we'll do the you portion of the reading. And so this is for lessons for September. What is it that you should be focused on or what do you need to be focused on? Your person's having an epiphany. That epiphany energy could also kind of extend to you. Page of Wands, this feels a little bit more like 
coming into yourself. There's an opportunity to come into yourself here. Um, I don't know if you can exactly take it, though. I feel like it has to do with you have to balance too many things. So it's trying to move out of a situation that is not a bad situation, but that requires you can't just drop it and walk away. You know, I had made the example of a job change. Um, and I don't know how many of you are potentially looking at a job change during the month of September, but this would be your replacement is not already in place and there would need to be some transition um, as you are trying to move into a new job or a new role or new responsibilities. So let's see what I dropped here. Oh, you have a return too. Okay, so the Eight of Cups has come up for you as well. We saw the Eight of Cups come up here as far as a return, and this one seemed like it was relevant to your person. You are also returning again to something that um, you get to see it from a different perspective, from a different vantage point, and you get to find out you're right about something or you were right about something. There is something very positive that um, is now going to begin impacting you that you kind of weren't able to take advantage of before. So there's something that is changing and it's a very positive sort of change for you. Very positive opportunity, but you're going to touch on some old pain as you do this. So be aware of that. Yep, here it is. You're going to find some. So we have the Four of Swords over here. We have the Four of Swords over here. Just like your person, you are also going to be figuring out some of maybe where your resistance is. We've got the Death card in the reverse. Where is your resistance? Where are you still unhealed? This is an opportunity for you to truly learn some things about yourself. And you will maybe, it's a little uncomfortable how much you're going to be shown this. Um, but I feel like you do the right things with it. So this is information that is not necessarily easy to take it and know what the next step is because it's kind of like that ace of swords that we keep seeing in the reverse for your person it's a truth that is hard to accommodate so the fact that you know something does not necessarily make it easy to accommodate or bring into yourself there's something kind of tough there okay so we have a six of wands well you're going to win there is, that is definitely the feeling of winning a battle, and I feel like you get significant headway during the month of September, but again, with this new perspective comes an awareness that just because um, you have, you know, maybe a new situation does not necessarily mean that the old challenges go away. You may still be very much um, challenged by something that has exerted control over you in the past. So with the Three of Wands, we have the Three of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. You really are going to have um, a little bit of a lesson as far as what it feels like. You're going to feel like you missed an opportunity. You're going to feel like things are working against you. There is a sense here of feeling every piece of healing that needs to be done. And then like almost immediately turning around and realizing you've got this. This is amazing. Please, when this happens, write me a note. Because this is the sort of... So I read all the notes that you guys write. I read all of them. I don't have the opportunity to write back to the vast majority of them. But you're going to come through something. It feels like going through the ringer. But again, I feel like you go through the ringer for like 15 minutes. It's not necessarily like a long, drawn-out marathon situation. But there's something where you get triggered and you figure it out. And you go... And it's. It, I feel like it is relatively quick. But you have to get to the other side of it. And you have to recognize you did not miss the opportunity that you are in. In exactly the right place that things are not working against you they are working exactly the way that they're supposed to be working and you're going to see it all you're I mean this is exciting for you I have little goosebumps I don't know if you can see them but there's <laughs> this is exciting um you're going to figure out that you've got this and that everything that like the prerequisites that you needed are in place but you're also going to really get a sense for here are the places where Maybe you still do need some healing. So that's the five of pentacles. It's going to be around that feelings around the feelings of abandonment and betrayal for you. Um, and also to some degree that that feeling of rejection, the fear of rejection and feelings in the past of rejection that have created problems for you. So there's a lot of good stuff coming for you. 
Um, this is kind of, it feels like going through the ringer, but again, for like maybe 15 minutes, it's not an extensive experience. You're mostly using what you've learned and allowing it to track you forward. With your person though, we've definitely got, here's some kind of epiphany that's coming up, but they're so resistant to it. It's curious to see, or I'm curious to see what that epiphany is and why it is that they're not really able to do what they need to do, why there's so much resistance here. So we'll look into that in the extended and I will see you there. So the link will be down below and I'll see you there or I'll see you in the next reading.